The pancreas is a long organ. It has a head and tapers off to a tail. The head is on the right side of the abdomen. When we look at the tail to the head, there is a duct system that produces enzymes that will help digest fatty foods that we eat. At the end of that duct, it actually hooks into the gallbladder duct. It's a common duct that empties into the GI tract. So when we eat food and the food comes out of the stomach, the gallbladder squeezes and the pancreatic juices come and help digest foods. There's another part of the pancreas. That's the part of the pancreas that produces insulin. There are islets of Langerhans. So the pancreas, very important organ. When it gets infected, we call that pancreatitis. Terrible problem because with pancreatitis, the gland, the pancreas gland begins to auto-digest itself. The infection causes these enzymes to begin to tear down, this, tear down the pancreas, it causes severe pain. The pain's usually mid-abdomen. It goes straight through to the back. People get nausea and vomiting and abdominal pain and cramps and fatigue, they can go into shock, they can lose blood volume, a very, very serious problem. It's most common in people that are alcoholics and overuse of alcohol, but it can occur in anybody. So it's a very serious problem. And when people have chronic pancreatitis, it causes a regular problem that has, you have to see your doctor on a regular basis. There are some things that can be done. We change our diet, we change our activity. We're now getting where we can replace the pancreas. We'll talk about that later on sometimes when we're discussing diabetes and the need to replace those islet cells for people that have diabetes.